all right students let's discuss polar representation of a complex number we know very well a complex number is of the form of a complex number is of the form of z is equal to x plus iota y well this part is its real part and this part part is its imaginary part so normally on xy plane we represent real numbers by p of xy where xy both are real but then we have this plane known as argand plane well we call this plane as argand plane and plane for the purpose of representation of polar representation of complex number what is different between argand plane and normal xy plane is that in normal xy plane both x and y axis are real axis whereas in argand plane our y axis is the our y axis is imaginary axis imaginary axis and our x axis is real axis this solve the problem of a complex number having both real part as well as complex part well any number on y axis of the form of 0 plus iota b where b is the imaginary part and any number on x axis is of the form of a plus iota 0 means there is no imaginary part on this point and combination of both will give the real representation of a complex number now we imagine a complex number z is equal to x plus iota y now as for the famous mathematician who give the idea that a complex number can be represented as an ordered pair of numbers x y well now what is our x and what is our y well this is our x towards x axis right and towards y axis the imaginary part is our y now uh we are going to join o and p let's see what happens we are going to join o and p and let's see what happens well now let's see if we can find out length of op applying pythagoras theorem on this right angle triangle opa where o is equal to x and p is equal to y so we can very well say that x square this y is this y plus y square is equal to this square so we can say op square is equal to oa square plus p a square well now oa square is basically my x square and p a square is my y square all right so all right guys so having stated all that now uh op is x op is x square plus y square under root well if you remember what was the modulus of a complex number complex numbers modulus we also defined as x square plus y square under root well this thing matches with that so we say op is modulus of z and we name it as r we name modulus of complex number as r all right so as far as polar representation is concerned the two important parameters one is modulus and second is argument of the complex number of complex number modulus of complex number we already know what is modulus of complex number but on this argand plane we understood that op is our modulus and that we have represented by r 
All right. So what what is the argument of Z? Now we're going to understand this that if this is the location of a complex number, this angle can be defined as argument of Z. If this angle, we know that it's a convention that we always take the theta, the angle in anti-clockwise direction for the theta to be positive. Well. It is interesting to note here that every complex number has a unique argument. Let's understand it more in detail. Uh, taking an example, let's say we are having a complex number is equal to, uh, let's say it is four plus five iota. Now on this argon plane, you know where this z will be there. So it's real part is 4 and imaginary part is 5. So let's say if this is 4 and this is 5. This is the location of the complex number and theta is the argument. How we will find the value of theta? Before that, let's say my z is minus 4 minus 4 iota. Let's assume. Now think what will be the argument corresponding to this. Now think on this plane, just like an xy plane, my x coordinate is minus minus 4 and this coordinate is also minus 4. In which coordinate it will lie? Minus 4 is x, y is also minus 4. So obviously it will lie somewhere here. P. And I will represent P as minus 4, minus 4. Now what will be the argument corresponding to this? The argument corresponding to this would be this theta. Right, I can take another example. Z may be equal to I may say 2 minus 3 iota. For this, also, there's a unique value of theta 2 minus 3. So, x is 2. Let's say I had assumed this as uh, 4. So, 2 obviously would be half of that. Now, minus 3 would be down. 2 minus 3 would be somewhere here. This is 2 minus 3. Now it lies in the fourth quadrant. All right. And corresponding to this modulus of complex number, what will be its argument? It will be this angle. Remember, we always take argument in the anti-clockwise direction. All right. So having understood this, uh, what is the argument of Z? We write it as A R G of Z. All right, argument of Z is clear. And now guys, if you see here, what is your OA in terms of theta? So you can say that OA, or you can say your X component is equal to what? It is R cos theta. And your Y is equal to R sine theta. But this is Y, R sine theta, opposite side, adjacent side cos theta well uh, now i can always represent my complex number as instead of x i write r cos theta plus iota r sine theta i could always take r as common this is cos theta plus iota sine theta z well, this is the polar representation of a complex number where Z is a complex number, R is its argument given by xk plus y square under root, theta is the, what is theta? Theta is the argument, argument of the complex number. Thank you very much.